I've always loved art. I've always made art, but never considered it uh, going through high school and college as my career. But once my two children were in school, I started to go back and just kept taking classes over and over again. And have been making work uh, since, well, I got my degree in 87. So I've been, uh, considered myself a professional artist since 87. I was always influenced by Mondrian and the Russian constructivists and the Bauhaus and that kind of structure and minimalism. I kept using those colors, the, the yellows, the reds, the blues of that ilk. But then at Meeting House, I was doing a painted installation and it also had these arches that I wanted to deal with. My first thought was to well, paint them red or whatever. And then I started thinking about, well, why do we think of architecture in these masculine kinds of structure and form and let's change it and turn it pink? <laughs> and so that was the beginning of, of the color where I really started to question why I was using particular colors. And it blossomed. <laughs> You know, and, and so I went wild. The work here is site-specific, meaning um, I find things in the space that is appealing to me and I want to reference, such as the crazy column over on the corner, which mimics, is mimicked in this formation over here. Uh, it's meant so that when you walk into the space, things start to line up uh, so that this arrangement of forms lines up with the L shape behind it. And the paintings on the wall reflect back into the space. I started doing some drawings that were linear. And then the drawings started to become more painterly. Finally, um, I was working on some painting on walls. And then it grew into to larger paintings. I guess it goes back to my first sculptures. This was in the 80s, uh, competing with the men in the class. I wanted to be just as powerful and respected and so I made really big bronze sculptures and really big steel structures and I shouldn't tell that secret. <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm looking at this color change, this feminist uh, point of view, because it, 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 it did control me, the, the dominance of male architecture until the pure joy of discovery of paint, which, which I held myself back from doing for all of these years. Uh, it was just a limited palette and, and more towards sculpture. So now it's like discovering this whole new language that I, I get a chance to, to play with. Mm -hmm.